Hi, I'm Keith, a lecturer at South Thames College, and I'm here to help you solve some of your plumbing problems. Right, today I'm going to show you how to repair an uh, overflowing cistern. First of all, you lift off the lid to have a look to see what the problem is. Okay, I can see the water is running, it's reached up to the level of the siphon and we've got the old-fashioned type of siphon in there. So first of all, I'll try to adjust it before I do any other thing else to see if it'll stop the water from flowing. Adjust the back nut on the back of the ball valve and I turn it clockwise into the valve which pushes the little pin and as you can see it reduces the water to the ball valve which shuts off the water. As the system is filling up the ball float will lift in turn shutting the water arm off. The arm off which shuts the water off. If it doesn't slow down, that tells me that there's a fault with the ball valve. In this case, I have to short, short the water off, which you should have an isolation valve directly underneath your cistern, which you turn and shuts the water off. And you flush the toilet to reduce the water level. Approach your ball valve and do the back nut, which is only hand tight, completely removing it safely. There's a little pin, the piston in here, which you tr try not to drop out of the cistern. You place it down carefully so you can reuse it. Um, you remove the washer, which is a diaphragm type washer. Examine it to see if there's any damage and split. If there's any split, if there's a split in it, then we need to replace it with a new one. Again, you can get them from your local DIY, reasonably cheap. When we got a new diaphragm washer, again we place it in the bowl valve. Take the arm with the float. Right, so you gently place it in the cistern. Again, being careful that you don't drop the pin. Put it in position. Again, you gently run the nut up. It should run up quite freely without cross threading goes all the way up, then you just give it a gently extra tight, just to tighten it up. So only need to be hand tight. Once you're happy with that, you get your flat headed screwdriver, open the isolation valve to allow the water to go back into the system. We need to adjust the arm a bit, yeah. Here you go. Let the water fill up. What you know, will notice as the water level rises up in the cistern, the arm lifts, the float lifts up and the water pressure reduces as it's coming in. Once it's reach the right level, the water will slowly shut off and you determine your water line. Your water line should be below the flushing level of the siphon, otherwise what would happen, the water will continue to siphon down into the toilet. So again, you adjust the screw according to 
the water line and that's how it's done.